Hey guys, it's your boy Slow. Welcome to another episode of Benfica Career Mode. I do apologize for not uploading lately. I've had some issues. I've explained all of that in my last PSG Career Mode episode. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to have some debuts uh, for Benfica against Bulnils. Uh, we're not going to put Fekir in yet because he's, he's still slightly injured. He's got a knock. Uh, but I'm going to put Balassi in and I'm going to put Ezequiel in. Uh, probably in the second half I'm going to start with Raul Jimenez up front and we're going to go for a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder uh, this is how I used to play in FIFA 15 I didn't uh, really get the hang of it in FIFA 16 but I'm going to give it a go now that I've got some decent players uh, for those positions it's Balassi on the left Salvio on the right I'm going to take Pizzi out and put uh, maybe Tarapt or who else could I put in his place? So I think I ended up going for Cristante in that position. I'm going to keep Gedge where he is. Obviously, uh, Timo Horns in the goal. Uh, hopefully, he'll have a really good debut and not let anything in. Uh, but let's not hold our breath for that one. He is 79 rated. He has a lot to learn yet. And uh, yeah, we're going to stay with Samaras. Uh, I'm going to put Mitroglu in the reserves so that I can give Ezekiel a chance in his first match. Anyway, let's go to the match against Bulnens. It's away. It's an important match. As if we win this, we go above Porto because they either drew or lost their last match and we're only two points away from them uh, and we've got a game in hand so we'll end up in second place so pretty important today anyway let's go straight to the highlights enjoy the match so here we are lads we're playing at home against Bulnetra I actually thought we were playing away but uh, how wrong was I and it's raining I hate the rain it's an evening kickoff as it always is in the Primera Liga uh, but anyway Bulnetra they're no mugs I mean uh, they haven't performed well in the last 10-15 years maybe uh, but they're, they were one of the original top five teams in uh, Portugal they were uh, people thought they were going to be the best team in Portugal they have a decent stadium they had the best stadium at the time um, but yeah they actually inaugurated the Santiago Bernabeu imagine being the team uh, that plays the first match with Real Madrid at the Bernabeu historically uh, one of the best teams in the world and legendary team and it was Bolnes that inaugurated that's how big they were back then uh, that they were big enough to inaugurate that stadium. Um, but yeah, so with our new 4-3-3 formation, three new players in the pitch currently. I have high hopes for them. Again, I haven't played with a 4-3-3 formation for a while, and I'm not necessarily great with it in FIFA 16, but I'm going to give it a go. I think I've got decent players that will um, sort of help me uh, along the way with that. Anyway, uh, let's go to the first highlight. I hope you enjoy the match, and yeah... And it's Samaras with the possession for Benfica. He passes it to Raul Jimenez and Semedo making a nice run down the right-hand side. I know that I have to carry the game more down the wings. It's Salvia now with the possession. He's going to take a shot. Great save there from the uh, Bulnes goalkeeper. That was so close. Uh, literally four minutes into the game, we could have gone 1-0 up. Uh, but yeah, good start with this formation. And it's Rosa with a free kick for Bulnes. Now can they get anything out of this? It's Martins waiting for it. Uh, the ball drops. Pinto now trying to get his head to it, but... Timo Horn uh, picks up the ball. A great effort there from Bonils. And it's a corner for Benfica. It's Salvio taking it. Who's waiting for it? Gedge is the one nearest to it, but they clear it out for another corner. A few tense minutes here for Benfica trying to get that first goal. It's such an important match, and Salvio with the cross again. And Jimenez now, and it just goes wide. It was so close. Uh, what an opportunity to go 1 0 up, but it didn't happen. Uh, but so far, I'm about 50 50 with this formation. I'm not getting the attacks that I want to. I'm a bit confused down the middle. I don't have as many options up on the attack. And I know that I have to use my wing backs more often. Uh, so things are going to have to change here. Sosa now for Bulnils with the possession. Passes it to Luis Leal. Uh, it's Rosa picking it up on the left hand side. What a shot. And what a goal there for Bulnils. What a shocking turn of events now uh, that we're 1-0 down when we desperately need to win. Uh, maybe all these changes that I've made were just made at the wrong time. You know, when, when a, a sort of recipe ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's something that I've done. And I'm struggling a bit here. And I don't really know how I'm going to get back into this without reverting to my original formation. Uh, but I've got to give it to him. What a volley and what a fantastic goal. Straight over Timo Horn. He was slightly out of his box there uh, because he wasn't an anticipating that shot and it's a beautiful goal there from Rosa a beautiful goal there from Bulnils 
So it's absolutely critical for us to score now. It's Balassi down the left-hand side. He's cutting in. He feels great playing with him. He's going to score. He takes a right-footed shot, but it's deflected. How annoying is that? A great opportunity there from Balassi. Great cutting as well. He had some pace and he left some defenders trailing. It's now a corner. Uh, Balassi waiting for it. There's some confusion in the box, uh, but Ventura picks it up in the end. And what great few minutes there was there for Benfica. Uh, but we still can't get a grip on the match and try and come back into this. I'm going to have to change my attacking mentality uh, but they're on the attack now it's Luis Leal he could easily um, get through a gap here it's Martins now is he going to take a shot it's a free kick just outside the area unbelievable we're getting totally smashed by Bolnitz at the moment and this is a really dangerous opportunity now for Bolnitz uh, let's see if they can actually take it it's Jose with a free kick he's been great but it hits the wall and we're on a knife's edge right now Benfica on the attack now with Cristante. He's been great today. He feels great to play with. And now it's Gonzalo Guedes. He's going to cut in. Uh, can he get a clear shot on goal here? He's right down the middle. He gets knocked down and it's a penalty. A chance to get back into this game. What a time for it to happen. We needed a goal before the end of the first half because uh, we all know it's precious, uh, precious time to score a goal uh, right before the end of the first half. To get back into it means we'll have a whole second half. Let's see if we can just score it. He goes to the left and it just goes over the goal. Keeper. Ventura was so close to actually saving that, uh, but yeah, it's now Benfica 1, Bolnils 1, Raul Jimenez with a fantastic penalty, it was close, I did uh, sort of, my heart <laughs> jumped out of my chest there uh, for a second, but it means that we've equalised and we've given it, uh, ourselves a chance now uh, to get back into this game, and uh, yeah, that, w that was a present, that was a present, it's Christmas, and they've just given us a present to go um, ahead of Porto in the league, uh, obviously one goal won't cut it or one uh, point's not going to cut it we need the full three points but we have a chance now and that's all that matters Luis Leal with the ball now for Blanes we don't want to concede at the end of the first half this would be a nightmare Sturgeon just couldn't get to it uh, luckily Horn pulled out on time there and Luis Leal again with the possession it's getting very close to the referee blowing the whistle what a shot and it goes over the bar and that must be the end of the first half now Wow, it, they came so close. I mean, it would be a nightmare for them to score now. And they've still got the possession. And the referee finally blows the whistle. Uh, we're going to have to make some changes. I'm going to put Ezequiel in. Uh, see if we've got more pace on the attack. Uh, let's see what happens. So, obviously, we need to make some changes at half-time. I'm going to put Tarapt in for Gedge. And I'm going to put Ezequiel for Raul Jimenez. Uh, giving some pace on the attack. A, a bit of fresh uh, legs. And let's see how we do it. We really desperately need to score that second goal. It's really really important now. Smith making a nice run down the right-hand side. He can't see any options. He passes it back to Luizão. Uh, there's a few players in the middle. It's Tarapt with the possession. Uh, this guy can go around defenders. And now it's Ezequiel with the possession. He's looking to score a goal. Uh, Cristante now to Rapt. He passes it to Salvio. Ezequiel's there. He misses it. He heads it back in. Ezequiel again. He couldn't take the shot. And I thought we were going to score the goal there. So disappointed. A wasted opportunity. And now it's Bolnils on the attack again. Uh, but it looks like we've got it pretty much covered in the defense. It's Chris Tante now with the possession. Can we get back into this? Can we build a great attack here? It's Salvio with the possession. He loses it though. He tries to regain that possession. He does. He steals the ball. There's someone there waiting for it. Ezekiel. Oh, and he scores an own goal. The Bolnitz defender. <laughs> Salvio's taking that as his goal. But we finally scored that second goal to hopefully seal the three points and go above Porto. I thought Ezekiel took a touch, but he didn't. It went straight in off that Bolnitz defender. He stuck a foot out, but it was the wrong move for him. And it's in the back of the net. Uh, he's just cost Bolnitz at least the point against Benfica, uh, which he won't see often in his career. And it's now Benfica 2, and it's uh, Bolnitz nil, and it looks like we're heading for for the three points. And those substitutions have really made a difference as Tarap is here on the attack, passes it to Cristante. Uh, there's a few players there waiting. Tarap makes a run, uh, receives the ball again, and it's Salvia now with the possession, takes a shot, and what a save there from the Balinsk goalkeeper. Uh, yet another opportunity wasted. We could have gone 3-1 up, uh, which would have been fantastic, but great effort there from Salvio. And it's Benfica on the attack again. It's Tarat receiving the ball and uh, Cristante with an opportunity. And great save yet again from the Billings goalkeeper. Uh, that could have been the third goal. We're having chances all over the place. Something has changed in the substitutions. Lads, let me know in the comments below what you think made the difference. Uh, but now it's Luis Leal on the attack on the left-hand side. But we managed to overpower him. And David Luis clears the ball. 
This team is on fire, and it's Tarapt with the possession down the middle. He finds Ezekiel. He's going to have his first opportunity, left-footed shot, uh, but he was offside there. I talked over the referee's whistle. I didn't even hear that, but he controlled the ball perfectly, and it was a fantastic shot with his left foot uh, on target, completely on target, but well offside. Ezekiel with the possession for Benfica. He's trying to find a player who's making a run there. It's Cristante. He's got the possession. He's got to wrap on his left hand side. Can he get round that player? It's a fake shot. A right footed shot. Beautiful goal. What a goal there for Benfica. It's now Benfica 3 and it's Bolnils nil and he's shushing the crowd of the opposition and it's definitely, definitely going to happen now. We're going to go above water. It would take a miracle for Bolnils ever to come back into this. What a fantastic goal there from Tarapt. I know he's shit in real life. Life, but he's fantastic in this game what a brilliant right footed shot round the goalkeeper towards the far post and this guy is literally on fire the whole team's on fire fantastic goal there and I can see the end of the match now us winning 3-1 maybe 4-1 maybe we can score another goal let's see what happens Salvio with the possession trying to find a player to start another attack and I think it's Ezekiel there on the right hand side in the wing position is he gonna try and cut in yes he tries to cut in he's got so much pace great dribble he's almost inside the goal and he scores in his first match Ezekiel with a fantastic goal I can see why this guy was worth so much money he's got a fantastic future ahead of him I think he's Belgian I'm not 100% sure uh, but he's gonna be another one of that golden era if he is let me know in the comments below what a fantastic fantastic shot uh, that's twice I've taken a shot with him and he's got so much accuracy he puts it in like a boss and what a fantastic goal what a fantastic start for this new player uh, to be honest both my uh, or the three players I think I've used today have all been fantastic uh, what a goal there it's now Benfica for Bulnils one they have no way out of this now and now it's Bulnitz trying to get back into this game, trying to score another goal. It's Sosa now with the possession. Brando one on one with the goalkeeper. What a save there from Timo Horn. This is why I hide this player. What a fantastic save. Uh, when we need him, he's there. Fantastic uh, goalkeeping there. And yeah, it just makes me all the happier that I've signed these players. Good job, guys. With the recommendations, they've made a real difference. This Benfica uh, far outweighs the Benfica that I had uh, the last few matches. It's just a completely different team. Uh, since I made those substitutions at halftime, uh, put Ezekiel in, and a few of the other new players, they just made such a difference. And uh, yeah, they feel like a new team. And there we go, lads. It's 4-1. The referee blows the whistle. We are now ahead of FC Porto. We had a game in hand. They only had two points ahead of us, so we're definitely in second place now. Uh, now all that's left to do is get past Sporting and get to that title winning position. And I'm sure we're going to do that by the end of the season. And what a fantastic episode it was today. Guys, I would really appreciate some feedback on what you thought of the new guys. Am I doing the right thing in changing formation? Should I stick with this formation or should I um, move the players around? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, but anyway, let's go and look at that table. The only important table where it will show that we finally got above FC Porto in this tournament and yeah what a fantastic game there what a fantastic start for Balassi for Ezekiel and for Timo Horn fantastic game so there we go, lads. There's the all-important Liga Nosh uh, standing there, and we're one point ahead of Porto now. We're currently in second place. That was all due to today and the new players. They were absolutely fantastic. We're only two points behind Sporting, so we can still catch up easily, hopefully, when we play against them, or maybe they'll just uh, sort of slip up. Uh, but anyway, fantastic day today. And, um, yeah, that was that was definitely uh, a good game there. Uh, I did struggle at the beginning when Bulnitz scored. I had problems. I didn't know with the position, so I was struggling with that formation. But after making those substitutions at halftime, I came back into the game. I don't know if it was the new players or, or if it was Ezekiel. He added a bit of pace and some good dribbling in the midfield there. Uh, to Rapt as well, he did a really good job. He got man of the match. And, yeah, we managed to come back and win quite well. Uh, we scored four goals to their one and yeah so that puts us in prime position uh, so anyway I've hit a thousand subscribers as well thank you very much guys I've now made it available to everyone everyone can see how many subscribers I've got and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching all your support everything's been fantastic I will be making a special video uh, thousand subscribers uh, around December when I get a new camera and yeah thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the episode please uh, hit that like button if you're a new member well, it's the first time you're watching it and you like my series, then please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'm off to rest now. Thank you very much. Goodbye.